all right welcome back to yet another video uh, this is a the first episode of a new series that we're gonna start making uh, since the last one is finished or got discontinued because of issues that we had anyway uh, we are gonna start making more component based systems so this is gonna be the first video in a uh, component based inventory system so we're gonna start from scratch and from now on we're gonna be making more component based stuff so that it's easier for you to actually just use the parts that you want so we, we can make like an inventory system then we can make a combat system maybe a stat system and stuff like that and then you can just integrate the parts that you actually want so this is going to be the first episode of the inventory system and of course as usual everything will also be multiplayer replicated so everything should be nice so let me just control my audio here uh, and it does look nice so yeah let's get going um is there no pause button anymore no okay anyway um let's get into it first and foremost we are gonna be using a standard unreal engine 5 third person template you can use whichever template that you want to uh, this is just the one that i prefer to use uh, but nothing has changed here, everything is just super default. So what I like to do when I open a new project is first and foremost, just go into edit. Uh, I'm going to go into the plugins and I'm going to disable everything that is using things that I'm not going to use for my project. So for this, uh, we are not going to be doing, I'm just going to be doing Windows uh, and maybe Mac, but I'm not going to be doing any uh, any uh, mobile development so I'm just gonna go ahead and search for Android and I'm just gonna disable everything that has to do with Android uh, yes 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 Google uh, Google Pad no, no idea what most of this stuff I don't know what it is but it just feels unnecessary to have a bunch of uh, plugins that aren't used and some of them can sometimes make apple let's search for apple also because we are not going to be using I'm, I'm probably not going to do any mac stuff so i'm just gonna disable a lot of uh, apple stuff okay that looks good uh, and then yeah probably bridge i'm not going to be using quickso uh and yeah there's a bunch of things uh already uh, enabled by default that i'm not gonna use so let's just hold off on that for now uh, and wait for it to restart uh, and there we go we are back in it again uh, so uh, the second thing I like to do is just we're gonna go into our blueprints we're gonna rename this to master character so our uh, our ma uh, mannequin is no more called third person character or whatever it's called master character uh, <clears throat> just so that we have a better reference to it i'm also gonna right click go to as uh, i'm gonna go into the character i'm gonna go to my mesh on the left i'm gonna on the right you see the skeletal mesh we're gonna um search this one up So these are our skeletons we are just gonna uh, rename it to master skeleton just in case the reason we're renaming this stuff is because later if you want to import a bunch of other 
uh, assets, they usually come with a skeleton or two, and you're just gonna be keep piling on skeletons on your project unless you delete them, which I recommend that you do. But still, it's just easier to to call stuff master or your name or whatever, just so you know what you're actually using. We're also gonna go to this anim class. I am actually gonna swap in this master one. Uh, this one we compile so we are using this one instead because this one is a child so this one doesn't contain the logic and we will be maybe in the future change it in another project maybe not so important for an inventory system but still and i'm also gonna rename this uh master anim db just so that i got it all figured out now we need to add the actual component so we're just gonna go a folder and in case you haven't used components before uh what this is components are basically blueprints uh, or objects in Unreal that you can attach to other actors. Uh, so the reason an inventory system is nice to do in a components way is that maybe you can you can attach it to chests and stuff and merchants and things like that as well. Even so, it doesn't just have to be bound to your character, which it would be if you made all the logic inside of your character. We're going to right click, we're going to do a blueprint class, we're going to do an actor component. We're going to call it AC inventory component. And open it up. There we go. So this is our inventory component. And what we can do now is if you go to your character, you can add you search for inventory component. You can see that we now have the inventory component in our character. So instead of doing all the logic inside of the character, we're just going to do all our logic inside of the inventory component. And then we're just going to reference the, the uh, everything from our character. So that's basically the basic setup. Uh, we are also going to be needing some widgets. So I'm just going to do a new folder called widgets. And from here, why is this red? Ah, it's recording. So from here, we're going to right click. We're going to do a user interface a user widget, we're going to call it WB uh, inventory. And, and actually, we are not going to call this widgets because we want everything in the folder so that we can easily, easily put it into other projects. So WB inventory. So we don't need this folder. We're just going to open it up. We're going to add a canvas panel. And we are going to be adding a, let's do a border. And make it black and a little bit transparent something like this i'm gonna anchor it to the right side and this is just placeholder stuff uh so no didn't want to did i change the content color? no So make sure to not change the content color, change the brush color of the border. 
or set this up however you want to. This is just the way I'm doing it now. Uh, just to just to have something. And in our character, we are going to be creating, uh, or actually not in our character. In the inventory component, we're at the event graph, we're going to create a new function called f show inventory. And we are going to create a variable called show. And yeah, actually, we can just delete this. We can make another function to just hide it. So on show inventory, we want to create widget. Gonna get player controller. We are gonna create the inventory that we just made. We are gonna promote it to a variable, call it WB inventory. And we are gonna add to viewports. There we go. And since we have the inventory component here, and just a heads up also, I usually haven't worked that much with inventory components, so there might, or with components in general, so it might, sometimes I might need to pause to actually figure stuff out. But we have the regular old inputs in our mannequin. We're just gonna, for now, do a uh, for testing purposes. We can use tab to open our inventory. You, so we are hard coding it. I always get questions on this whenever I make videos. Is why don't I just change the inputs? You could easily go to project settings and do your own inputs. Uh, I'm just doing hard coding tab for now, just because it's easy. We are going to get the inventory component. We are going to show inventory. And we're going to do a flip flop first, which switches the uh, execution executed action. And we're going to Duplicate the function here. We're going to call it inside of the inventory component. We're going to call it hide inventory. And on hide inventory, we're going to get the inventory. So this is now, this is the reference to the inventory which we made in the show inventory here. And to hide it, we first need to check so that it's valid, because otherwise we're going to get errors when we do this. And there's also another thing you can do whenever you do multiplayer stuff. Before we create the widget, widget uh, can you do this? Uh, we should probably do this. <clears throat> Just in case. Um, whenever you do multiplayer stuff with UI, you want to make sure that you're only actually opening and creating stuff on your own character. So that's why we use this is local player controller. I think usually you have one in here. It's 
yeah, we have this is locally controlled. We could probably do the check here also. Uh, but let's try it to see if it works here. And on hide inventory, we want to check if the inventory is valid. And if it's valid, we want to remove from parent. And the reason we're removing it from parent and creating it every time is we might change this later, but the reason is that it's more performant to just remove it. <clears throat> we'll see. Maybe it, I'm not entirely sure. Maybe this actually creating it takes a while, but what you don't want to do is set the disabilities uh, at least. Um, if you're going to hide it, use collapsed instead. Because if you only set the visibility, the widget still exists in the game. So collapse it should be better. Anyway, uh, let's see if that works. Not sure if it does. We'll see. It does. Uh, so you can see that it's getting blacker and blacker and blacker. So something went wrong. And that's because in our character, we didn't actually call the hide inventory. There we go. You can see that we now can make it pop up and make it disappear. Cool. And obviously you would use your own character for this. So you see here, it's going to be easy later. So even when the project is finished, you can just bring this into a new project and just plug in your, add it to your character. So that's it for now. What time are we at? 16 minutes. Um, so that is the basic setup. Um, I think we will pause the video here actually. I'm also going to try to hold my videos a lot shorter than I have done before. Um, so that we can actually... Uh, so that it's going to be easier for you to follow instead of having these long 40 minute videos. Uh, anyway. That's the basic setup for now. In the next video, we will start with the actual inventory. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one.